<clears throat> let's go over the ingredients. So for the sun-dried tomato pesto, it's very simple. All you're going to need is some sun-dried tomatoes. These are from Trader Joe's, something I got when I was home. This is about three ounces worth. Um, half of a lemon, you might not even use all of that, that's just to taste. Two small cloves of garlic, or one large clove of garlic. Salt, pepper, some crushed red chili flakes. This is optional, this is if you want a little bit of a kick in your pesto. And some olive oil, very simple. And then for the assembly of the assemblage of the whole sandwich, all you're gonna need is some mayonnaise, some bread of your choice. Today I am just using some fresh sesame bread that I just got from the Western Style Bakery here. This is some sliced roast beef, and this is Swiss cheese. You can also use cheddar with this um, sandwich. I've made it with cheddar and with Swiss, and I like both of them just as much. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's get so, started. So, sun-dried tomato pesto. I'm just going to put the whole bag of sun-dried tomatoes in there. And the great thing about sun-dried tomato pesto is you can add this to everything. It tastes great on sandwiches, crackers. You can put it in, like, soup to give it, like, flavor if you're making minestrone. Um, what else? You can add it to pasta, so you're making like an Italian pasta dish and you want to give it some flavor, you can just add the sun-dried tomato pasta paste to the sauce. So there's, you know, so many different things you can do with this. I'm putting in about five leaves of sweet Italian basil. There's one clove of garlic. Two. Just gonna squeeze some lemon juice into it. So just bring out some freshness. Pepper. Like a good amount. And I'm just going to add like a pinch of crushed red chili flakes. And I'm going to start with about a half a cup of olive oil or EVOO, whatever your choice is. All right, we're going to let this go. Okay, that's the paste-like consistency. This is pretty much the consistency that you want. You don't want it to be runny because you're going to be spreading it on a sandwich. And also, I just don't, I don't really know if you can make sun-dried tomatoes runny anyway. So I'm going to give this a taste. Mm. Ooh, that's good. And that's done. That's it. That's all there is to it. If you want to put grated cheese, um, like pecorino or Parmesan cheese in there, you can do that as well. But I just like to keep mine nice and simple. So um, now it's time to to put together the sandwich. Okay, while the bread is toasting, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys. I picked up some roast beef. So the like, whenever I make these sandwiches, I go to this one deli in Taichung, or a bakery I guess you consider it, but it's like a western style bakery slash deli slash cafe called Fingas, and they're the only place pretty much where you can get like cold cuts. You can go to places like Costco and buy them in packages, but I really don't prefer that. I only do that if I have to. So roast beef, however, you can't really find anywhere. You'd have to roast your own beef, which for me is not a problem except for the fact that you can't buy that cut of meat anywhere. It's really difficult. So I just bought this much meat and I would say that this is probably about, I don't know, I would say that there's about at most 10 slices in here. And it was Liang Bai Kwai, which is uh, about six, 
US dollars, maybe a little bit more than six US dollars, probably about six dollars and fifty cents. So I just wanted to give you guys like I thought it was really interesting for you to see because someone had much once mentioned to me that they really like to see the packaging in Taiwan. They thought it was very interesting. So I thought that I would just give you guys a little bit of information on you know how I go about finding the ingredients for these things. And um so yeah. I don't do this often, but when I do, I treat myself to it and it's very nice. So there's a little bit of information for you about Western ingredients. I just toasted in the bread. So I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of mayonnaise or two teaspoons. And I'm gonna take some salt and pepper. Okay, and then on this side, I'm gonna do the sun dried tomato pesto. That looks good. So now I'm gonna take my roast beef, and I'm quite happy with the roast beef because it's medium rare, which I really prefer. Um, I would be pretty upset if I bought it and it was like, for me, overcooked. And I'm gonna put quite a lot on there because I think it will taste really good. But obviously, like, this is to your taste, so if you just like a thin layer, then you do that. So then the next thing I'm going to do is take the Swiss, or the cheddar, and put that down as well. I'm going to do three thin slices. Now I'm going to pop this back in the oven and just let the cheese melt a little bit, and then we'll be ready for the tasting. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you know what I think. So I'm really excited. I just got off work and I'm very hungry right now. This is the corn soup that I made earlier um, and you can refer to my Asian style corn soup video if you want to know how to make this. Mm. That is so good. Oh my god. That's awesome. Really good. Okay. Now for the sandwich. I used to eat this sandwich all the time when I was in college. Um, we can get sun-dried tomatoes really easily and uh, my friend told me how to make sun-dried tomato pesto and I just sort of put the sandwich together and it was a perfect combination and ever since then I sort of always had it. And I just figured I would show you guys. It's not anything interesting or really like difficult or anything like that, but it's just a really good flavor combination. And if you happen to have this stuff in your fridge, it's perfect to throw together. So here we go. Mm. It's so good. And um, it is just absolutely delicious. So I hope you give this recipe a try and until next time, See you later and Happy New Year, Shinyan Kwai Love.